Hey guys, Jason from TechAU, and today we're going to unbox DJI's latest drone, the Mini 3 Pro. It comes with the Fly More combo. Let's take a look. All right, let's open it up. Let's we'll start with the drone itself, and let's just get this packaging off. Uh, <laughs> so DJI have kind of helped us a little bit here. They do have these easy pulls, but let's take out the shrink wrap. Right, so straight away we see that the drone looks very different than earlier models. Um, this third version is also coming with a brand new controller, which looks amazing with the screen built in. Uh, very similar to the, the new uh, premium models that they have. And there's another tab here, tab pull. And then we're gonna open the lid, so let's do this. Da -da -da -da. There we go. I love these bags. There we go. Okay, so when they're saying mini, I mean they're not wrong, that's the palm of my hand and it's not uh not much bigger than that, so let's, uh, let's get the rest of it out before we take this too far. So we've also got in the box, we've got this new controller. So let's take that out. Okay, take this open. All right, and thumbsticks in the back as normal. But this is very close to the, you know, the Mavic 3 sign that we just reviewed not too long ago. It came with a Pro RC controller, which was really amazing. You know, we've come a long way since the days of having to clip your phone into the controller. There are still some models on the market that offer that, but um, what that does is just have a, a very different weight distribution with your phone at the top. Um, much better, I feel, to have the screen at the bottom and be able to control the drone. We've got some nice buttons at the top here. Um, the controls, I think this is zoom and this is uh, panning the, the camera. A couple of buttons at the back, um, a heat sink there was interesting. Uh, host and a micro SD. So USB-C there and micro under there and another USB-C there. So overall, uh, first impressions, very good of that controller, um, camera and start recording obviously and some Wi-Fi stuff there. So, all right, um, I'm keen to get into this because it's interesting they've separated out the fly mall combo this time. So actually we don't need the uh, Stanley knife. Just peel here and magic happens. All right, so, oh, looks like a nice case. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, one of the things about the, the Mavic 3 sign that I really loved was, you know, the, the case that it came in. And obviously something as small as the Mini, uh, you know, really the focus is transportability or portability on it. So having something you can throw the drone into uh, and know it's protected as you travel is, is a really solid idea. So unsurprisingly, we've got some spare uh, rotors there, which is good. And USB-A to USB-C, and then USB-C to USB-C for some reason. Cool. Right. Um, props, I mean, obviously not rotors. So next in here we have, you know, there's gonna be some batteries going on in here, I expect. Ah, so triple charger, that's the fly more bit. So you get some extra battery life out of that. And there must be one already mounted on the drone, and there is. So if we look on here, it's got this ultra light 249 grams. So it says charge to activate the intelligent flight battery before use for the first time. Okay, good to know. Right, let's move those out of the way. So the battery on this is kind of built into the body if you like. Um, so let's fold those down. Slide these out. Get these out. And okay, so that's how we're removing the battery. Pinch on there, remove the battery, and then it can dock on here, which is cool. And without that battery, man, that is super light. That is very impressive. 
but even with still, I mean, you're talking about a tiny amount of weight compared to some of the bigger drones. If we take the camera cover off and the protective remove before use thing, this reveals the new gimbal that we've got going on here with the, the Mini 3 Pro. So one of the cool new things is this, that we can actually shoot vertical. So uh, I'm gonna very fondly refer to this as the TikTok drone. If you're shooting TikTok videos and you wanna get some great outside aerial shots, this is gonna be your friend like nothing else. So definitely can try that out. We've got, uh, in terms of cameras and sensors, so we've got these two major ones uh, front facing. Uh, underneath, we've got some protection. So obviously if you're lowering to the ground, it's gonna be able to sense that there is no rear protection on this so while the uh actually so i could be wrong here so these actually have a rear facing one as well so that could be very cool i mean it's not at the back so you might be limited in some respects but really what we're going with these cameras and sensors is the ability to protect the drone so you know you avoid crashes cool all right well that is the new drone i am super keen to power it up and check it out but this has basically been a quick unboxing and first impressions of what we're seeing with the new hardware. And I've got to say, looks good. Looks very good. I'm very happy they included a great controller with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the unboxing, guys. And now is on to the full review. So thanks for joining me. Talk soon.